Welcome back runners, uh, this is my first video of the year, so uh, happy new year to all of you. Uh, today we're gonna have a look on the Adidas Sashi 2 after uh, 100 miles. And uh, if you missed the initial video review, you can find the link up here. This is a pair of shoes that um, I bought by my home. So no one is paying me for this review. Uh, so if you like the video, please leave a thumbs up and uh, consider to subscribe, share the video with your friends. You will support the channel and the community behind and you will see other video on weekly basis. The Adi Zero RC2 is a lightweight racing flat shoe with great traction and ground feel to use in race day and uh, occasional longer distance trainings. It is optimized for improved performance, taking advantage of the latest techs to give neutral runners unmatched speed at every circuit. Built with ultralight materials, the RC2 keeps you light on your feet as you sprint for the finish. For those who like close to the ground, film riding soles with some snappiness, this is a shoe worth looking into. The RC2 has the look of the Hadios 5 for a lower price just lacking the boost technology. The upper design is minimalist and the light strike form makes its triumphal debut in the Adi Zero RC2 to give you explosive energy return in competitive racing and soft cushioning when you slow down to train and enjoy the scenery. It's a really good value for money. The RC2 is one of my uh, top 5 running shoes of 2020 which I used in different conditions and they started to have some signs of wear, um, especially in the upper. Despite that I still can use them and uh, they are still comfortable, uh, so it's a good value uh, for money considering that uh, it's really cheap, only uh, 80 euro, maybe even less now. The outsole is made of the great uh, continental rubber on the forefoot. Uh, but uh, with Adiware uh, on the heel, uh, but it's still perfect. Uh, there are no uh, signs of wear uh, and the grip is still good. As usual, I want to remark that my strike is pretty much neutral um, and I run a lot on the treadmill, but still the result is uh, uh, great, especially in comparison uh, with other shoes which I'm using uh, on the same conditions. The white heel area is uh, perfect in terms of stability even if uh, the shoe is uh, made for running fast i found it better compared to other uh, lightweight running shoes regarding the midsole um, it's like the sl20 the rc2 is one of the several adidas 2020 shoes with uh, the brand new light strike foam uh, in the entire midsole Light track is lighter than uh, the previous boost foam, uh, firmer, more stable and uh, more responsive in feel and with a solid cushion for, uh, for weight. Uh, initially it was a bit too, too stiff, but uh, after 50 kilometers uh, it started to lose a bit of stiffness and uh, you can see the signs of wear um, on the bottom layer of the foam close to the hard sole and uh, this is making the shoes um, more comfortable uh, but still responsive. Regarding the hopper, uh, the lasers colors uh, they have not faded. Um, there are no big signs of wear. Uh, a bit uh, the logo is ungluing. Um, so it doesn't look brand new like the SL20 after 100 mile. But the worst thing is that uh, the hopper is gonna be um, a bit too loose. 
uh, and uh, in the change of directions it doesn't hold the the the, the foot well as at the beginning uh, losing uh, stability and uh, comfort uh, that is not much pleasant uh, especially um, issues for fast running Let's say it's not uh, a deal breaker uh, and I can still use them, uh, but this is something that uh, doesn't happen to me uh, using the SL20, which is on the same um, range of price and uh, used better quality materials. It's really pity because uh, initially for me, the upper of the Hasi2 uh, was one of the best in terms of uh, fit and also breathability. So guys, I'm still impressed by this shoe. Uh, I love uh, to use it especially for uh, interval trainings, but in terms of duration, don't expect too much. Uh, it's not a daily trainer and uh, therefore um, it's a good value, especially uh, for this price. That's it for my 100 miles review. Uh, I hope you like it. Uh, please leave a thumbs up uh, so I understand which video you prefer. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video. Thank you.